known for making threes. They did that as well in the fourth quarter. But the points in the paint, they had 20 of those in the fourth. To put that in perspective, Dallas had just 30 points in the paint for the whole game. So 3D, what does that tell us about Golden State and their attack? Well, one thing uh, Steve Kerr preaches is ball movement and player movement. And Zeke, you know how much I love the three. So something Steve Kerr says, do not settle. And how do you say that to a guy I like to call the bait bombers because they like to let it fly. But watch the player movement, ball movement. Could have been a three, fake it, get all the way to the rim. So you saw Steve Kerr saying, don't settle for the three. I know you can shoot it, but keep attacking the rim. There's no shot blockers. Come on, Clay, let it fly. Hesitate all the way to the rim. Look at Luca swinging for the ball. That got their defense going by getting easy layups. Now, he could take that shot right there. Steph Curry can shoot it whenever he wants to. No, even the great Steph Curry said, no, I'm going to attack the paint and get easy buckets and put pressure on that defense. And then when we get down the stretch, look at the great spacing. Steph got his hands up. He's taking his time. You attack the paint first. Back in the day, you throw it inside. Now you attack it, draw and kick it, hesitate, leave it, splash. And then Steph Curry says, you know, it's night night, Zeke. Last <laughs> night we had us guys waiting to 130, 145 for the presser. So tonight, in case you guys take time, I got a pillow in case y'all put me night night. I just want to see Steph Curry show up to the oh, game with a teddy bear now. The Celtics. <laughs> Is Jason Tatum going to play well tonight? I don't know. I just hope it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> said it's time to go night night time to go night night now we always talk about Steph Curry how great he is and Jordan Poole and his team but who's emerging in this postseason for the Warriors oh, just the 30th pick in the draft for them and Kevon Looney mm. here's a guy uh, becomes the first Warriors center since Robert Parrish in 1977 to have 20 and 10 in a game also had 22 rebounds in the closeout game against the Memphis Grizzlies Zeke this is exactly what the Warriors need to be a complete team I mean, to hear 3D talk about driving a basketball to the basket, they have no shot blockers getting into the lane. You know, I know people don't want to hear this, but that's called old school basketball. That's right. Like you uh, shoot a high field goal percentage, you go 10 for 14, you, you grab 12 rebounds in 32 minutes, 21 points. I mean, it is a game that says the closer you are to the basket, the more success you will have. Now, you can do both. And what Golden State has always been great at 3D is they give you both. Mm -hmm. They give you the three-point shot with a, with a variety of, you know, good looks. Mm -hmm. But now they're giving you the, the inside play in terms of driving the ball to the basket. And when you got good perimeter play, mm -hmm. you got good inside play, that is tough to stop offensively. And that's what Dallas is facing now. The other thing I would say about Dallas what, what they did was the Cardinals saying from a point guard's perspective. I'm up 18-20. Now it's a matter of clock management, mm. tempo yeah. management. Mm. I got to manage the tempo. I got to control the tempo now. I'm not going to let you get back into the game by continuing to play fast up and down, giving you more shot attempts, giving you more ways to read the defense, play together. I'm going to take all that away now because now I got a lead. And when I got a lead, the biggest defender that we have out on the court right now is the clock. clock. I'm going to make you play against the clock by controlling the tempo. And Dallas failed to do that in game two with a big lead. Yeah, and one of the things we can see in the results for this Dallas Mavericks team and how they're constructed under Luka Doncic. He scored 40 or more seven times in his postseason career. But look at this, Zeke. They're 2-5 and five in those games when he scores 40 or more. Help me understand why is this? <sighs> Basketball's a team game. That means five people out on the floor. And, and what we do in the media and stuff today, we emphasize the one player scoring 40. And we'll lead with, oh, this guy got 40, but they lost. Right? And it used to be back in the day, the team that won, that's who you led with. Now we lead, now the news cycle, we lead with the guy who gets 40 in his team loss, as opposed to leading with the team that won. So we, we reward individual stardom, but the game doesn't reward individual stardom. Playoff basketball is about team play, and that's how you win. I just want Luca to give the same effort. Like we like to 
give on one end of the floor and you notice that they say two-way yeah. players yeah. now because sometimes you're watching that game. He'll give you – he'll have you oohing and on.